So I'm uh, Pushkar Patel. I'm from uh, Citrix. So Citrix. So, so this is the agenda uh, which I'm going to go through, if possible, in five minutes. Um, basically, I'm going to start talking about what is Citrix, what does this partnership with Red Hat means, how are customers using us, uh, and what are our recommendation. Right. So uh, at Citrix, we wake up every day to have flawless experience of application delivery for our customers wherever they are, wherever it is running, right? So basically, when it comes to delivering an application, there are really two very important pillars. One is the security aspect, and one is the performance and scale, right? So at Citrix, we have uh, you know uh, many uh, pops where a whole security stack, uh, things like SSO, multi-factor authentication, authorization, identity management, uh, is provided as a service to our customers. So it's a very plug and play, very easy to use kind of a product. And then once you have that, connecting the clients or these pops back to their on-prem data center or a public cloud data center, uh, there are a bunch of devices uh, which could be in different form factors, uh, you know, whether it is a microservices or it is an edge device or, or whatever. Uh, it is accomplished to something what we call it as ADC. ADC stands for Application Delivery Controller. Um, just last week, we also announced this uh, application delivery controller as a service. So literally, you can go to Citrix Cloud and get your application delivery platform up and running uh, with our device. By the way, uh, I think Citrix application delivery Citrix has um, multiple businesses. The application delivery piece, if you go back a while back, uh, it was a company called Netscaler, which was bought by uh, Citrix, and that is the product I'm going to focus on, uh, along with. Uh, you know, just the application delivery piece, uh, you know, as you have all these pieces and services everywhere, uh, you need to have a common management plane or a control plane, and that is done through something called as application delivery management service, which is right, right at the bottom of this uh, 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 slide. And, uh, you know, I'm going to focus on the OpenShift integration, which kind of falls into this red box area, which I'm showing over here. And you know it is possible for us to work in all these different environments like public cloud, containerized environment, um, because we we have all these products, the application delivery controllers, and different form factors. And what is unique about us is you know whether it is a hardware appliance, a big fat hardware appliance, or a virtual form factor, or a container form factor, it is built out of a single software code base, which helps for having consistent APIs, operational consistency and they get innovations, right? For example, if there is some use case in public cloud, we can get it very easily to our on-prem customers as well. And uh, as I said, you know, last week we announced as a service where uh, we call it an intent-based networking a solution for our customer where your intent is driven into an action or a policy, and it is designed to be always learning, always adaptive, self-healing, etc. So please do try it out on uh, citrixcloud.com. Uh, our intent based uh, solution so now coming to the topic on hand uh, what what are we doing with uh, red hat right so we are in the journey of digital transformation uh, with red hat uh, and as a first step for that uh, we are a certified uh, partner with red hat and that's why probably i'm here as well so basically anything which goes into the openshift cluster has gone through the certification the containers uh, and and bunch of other ancillary tools which are developed to make sure the application delivery is seamless is all certified at OpenShift. Uh, we also participate in the operator certification cycle, so we follow the operator framework. Uh, along with that, as the customers are moving to these different environment, automation is very important, and Ansible becomes a very important uh, piece of that. So we are even a certified Ansible partner with Red Hat. Right. So how do we help OpenShift customers? Right. So we help customers get into production faster because more often than not, uh, you know, they already have Citrix ADCs in their data centers. And the guys who have the Citrix ADCs are actually the stakeholders responsible for the operation. So if you have already something trusted, you know, getting something new application, new devices into the environment through it makes it uh, having such device makes it really easy. Right. Also, we are built built with uh, um, you know all the security features 
uh, when it comes to authentication, authorization, web application firewall, etc., on a single device or a single instance. So that way, you know, you can secure your OpenShift clusters. And also our, our value add here and the kind of a demo which I'm going to do is about our multi-cluster solution. In fact, I'm going to show you that how you can have OpenShift cluster in, say, different clouds, say, Amazon and Azure. And I'm going to show you how easy is it uh, to just deploy these applications there and use our services to kind of have a resilient and secure application in these cloud environments. Uh, the foundation which makes it happen are all these tools which are in an OpenShift cluster. What I'm showing over here is these uh, these these uh, hexagons are, are basically pods which runs in a cluster. We have an ingress controller, uh, which is the heart of the solution. Uh, along with that, there are a few other tools which, you know, based on the customer uh, uh, you know, request, we have built these tools. Uh, also, we have an extensive integration with uh, the observability tools which are out there like Prometheus, Grafana, Elasticsearch, and also we participate in all the CI, CD pipeline. Um, I'm not, given that I have, I have very limited time, we support all different architectures, whether it is service mesh, whether you are trying to use uh, ADCs outside the cluster, or you have teams who are requesting these application delivery platform. Uh, we have all the different flexibility with our architecture, which our customers can use. Um, and, you know, uh, when it comes to the best practices, uh, I think it is it has been established. In fact, our customers are using, you know, GitOps as a way of deploying, uh, continuously deploying and iterating their application in the cloud. And uh, in my demo, I will show you exactly that. Uh, one of the differentiator or one of the value add from our side is the multi-cluster technology which we have developed, which is based on a technology called as global server load balancing. Uh, we have created operators and Helm charts for that, so that becomes very easy to integrate. And I'm going to show you uh, in my demo uh, these use cases. Uh, uh, what are the use cases for this? And this is possible because we have created uh, two custom resource definition, which can be used in your OpenShift cluster. We call it a global traffic policy and a global service entry. So as and when the services co come up, you need to be able to discover those. That's where global service engine comes into picture. And then also, you know, what kind of uh, multi-cluster traffic management would you want to have? Would you want to have active active? Would you want to have, you know, a failover? Would you want to have canary? Uh, or you want to have some localized, you know, the best response based uh, algorithms. All those things are kind of built into the CRDs for global traffic controller. So use cases are pretty straightforward, right? You can have your data centers or clusters across your different zones in your data center and you can use this or you could use it, you know, in a hybrid environment where you have say OpenShift cluster on-prem and another OpenShift cluster in say Azure or you can have it across uh, multiple, in, multiple uh, public cloud environment. And we support all these uh, different deployment type. And so now uh, I'm going to use the remaining minute or two to show a demo. So basically, I have uh, an OpenShift cluster, which is already deployed in uh, AWS. I've used operator to install our stack. And I'm exposing this application called demo OCP cloud PST.com. And this is what you're seeing. So you, as you can see, I can access it. Also, I have this continuous. Uh, um, loop which is going on uh, where I'm uh, requesting the access to that. So what I'm going to do is now next is I'm going to keep this mic down first and I'm going to deploy my application so this is my uh, uh, demo application which I'm going to deploy uh, in uh, Azure environment and I already have installed the GTP in a GSE and what you will see here is this continuous loop when I deploy this you will see that the traffic is load balanced uh, between these two cloud environment. So I'm, I'm using uh, Argo CD in the back so basically I'm going to just make sure I add it, commit it and push it. Okay, so as that application is getting pushed, let's look at the Argo CD over here. So as you can see, I want to make sure it is synchronized. People around the world can't see anything. The font's too small. No one can see the demo. Oh, okay. How about now? Any better? We see it's a little better. Okay. But we need to go quickly. Okay, I'm done. I'm almost done. All I want to show was... Uh, 
uh, you know, the application is going to be deployed. Um, let's wait for Azure to show up and that would conclude my demo. There you go. So the application which was deployed in Azure, as you can see, is, it was just AWS before. Now you have uh, the same application deployed in two different locations, two different clouds, and our technology uh, enabling that uh, uh, configuration. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, sir.